The breaking news story about Angelina Jolie undergoing preventive bilateral mastectomies has created a real stir and a flood of interest in the whole field of breast cancer. One of the things that Ms. Jolene shared with the world is that she actually underwent what are called nipple sparing mastectomies. Now what are nipple sparing mastectomies and what do they look like? Well the concept here is to preserve all of the skin of the breast and the nipple or real or area and then to do a reconstruction initially with a tissue expander and then as a second stage, either put in a permanent Im implant or perhaps rotate some tissue into the space. The world of mastectomy has changed dramatically over the past decade. And we now realize that in every case, we don't need to, if you will, throw away the nipple in a realer area. Plastic surgeons have done a very good job over the years of creating what look like nipple or realer areas by tattooing an areola on and then taking some skin that they twist up or move from a different location to create what looks like actually a pretty good nipple. But the bottom line is it's not the real thing. And so there's been a real interest, including my own personal interest, in trying to preserve the areola and then trying to preserve the nipple in a realer uh, region in mastectomies as long as the cancer does not actually involve the nipple or realer uh, regions. Now in Miss Jolene's case, uh, the, her mastectomies were done as prevention, meaning she did not already have breast cancer. And her final pathology report actually demonstrated that there was no cancer in either one of her breasts. So I thought it would be very helpful to show you examples of what a realer sparing mastectomy and nipple sparing mastectomies actually look like. So the first uh, case that I'm going to share with you is that of a uh, woman in her late 30s who developed a small cancer uh, in her right to breast. She really desired at her young age to never have to face this again and wanted to undergo bilateral mastectomies. Now she was early on in our experience and early on in the experience here in the United States where there was already some data indicating that we could preserve the areola, but you know what, we better take the nipples. So in these two photographs of her, the one on the left is the preoperative photograph uh, showing a, a very well endowed uh, woman in her late 30s. And then the photograph on the right or the postoperative photograph shows with her reconstruction preserving the areolar areas but the nipples are gone. Well this lady was so happy with the results that she decided not to actually go on and have uh, new nipples created by the techniques that the plastic surgeons have developed. The next case that I'm going to show you is that of a uh, woman uh, in her uh, early 40s who was found in her left breast to have uh, uh, in situ breast cancers. Remember, in situ breast cancers are inside the ductal system, have not spread out elsewhere, and a mastectomy theoretically is curative of the disorder. She wanted to be actually a little bit larger in size. So the photograph on the left is her preoperative uh, photograph and the photograph on the right is her post-operative photo of her having undergone now a bilateral, meaning both sides, nipple sparing mastectomies. And the incisions here are hidden. They're hidden underneath the crease where the breast normally meets the uh, chest wall. One incision goes there and then another incision goes up in the armpit area as a way of sampling lymph nodes or helping to remove the upper part of the breast, but then the entire breasts are delivered out through these lower incisions. The first stage reconstruction involves putting a temporary implant called a tissue expander. You then expand the patient up over several weeks, and then finally is a permanent implant that's put in place. The final case that I want to share with you is a woman in her early 50s. On the left side, several years ago, I operated on her for, again, an in situ breast cancer. 
In fact, she actually chose not to have radiation therapy because the in situ breast cancer was so small. A few years later, I think about four years later actually, she developed completely unrelated to the original cancer on the left side, now two small areas of cancer, early invasive cancer on the right side. And she said, that's it, I want both of my breasts removed. The photo that you see on the left is her preoperative photo, actually after I had already operated on her for her in situ breast cancer. Uh, and then the photograph on the right now is after she's undergone bilateral nipple sparing mastectomies, again through these incisions that are hidden, and again she ends up being delighted by the cosmetic outcome. So when we talk to women now in this day and age about mastectomies, these are not your grandmother's or great-grandmother's mastectomies. These are options that uh, follow our oncoplastic philosophy of not only wanting to do good cancer surgery, but also wanting our patients to really look well and to be happy with how they appear cosmetically. And this is all part of the emotional reconstruction that patients need who have experienced breast cancer. Or even those, as in the case of Angelina Jolie, who have taken preventive steps to never have breast cancer. But imagine how well she has been emotionally reconstructed by looking whole, feeling good about herself. Just a couple quick points about the nipple sparing mastectomies. One is you do lose sensation. So you don't have the normal sensation of the nipple areolar area that you did before the mastectomy. But yet no plastic surgeon can recreate a areola and nipple that are real because here obviously they are real because we left them behind. Also, women worry about the chance of the cancer coming back at the mastectomy site. As I tell women all the time, even with this kind of mastectomy, not 1,000% of all microscopic breast tissue can be removed. And we do remove the breast tissue on the underside of the nipple areolar area to prevent the cancer from coming back there. So this is sharing with you photos of women who have been through these procedures. They are so pleased with the cosmetic results and obviously the results from the actual cancer surgery or preventive surgery. Uh, and so these are options that you should be looking at if you or friends or acquaintances or relatives should ever need a mastectomy or prevent a mastectomy like Angelina Jolie. Please seek out uh, specialists and centers who perform nipple sparing mastectomies.